Uh, hello everybody, uh, my name is Don Roberts and uh, this is my uh, student uh, Keith Lowry. Uh, we are representing the Okinawa Karate Do Union and I want to uh, let everybody know that we'll be having a uh, small uh, seminar uh, coming up on March the 14th, 2015, uh, running from 5 in the afternoon until 7 in the, in the evening, only $20, and it's going to be in Sevierville, uh, Caton's Chapel Elementary School at uh, 3135 Caton Chapel Road in Sevierville. So if you can see your way clearly come up there, uh, I think you'll have a good time and we're going to run over a couple of things that, that are going to be showing up uh, during this mini seminar. Uh, one, uh, we're calling these um, uh, Mayo Tode drills or our husband and wife hand drills. Um, this idea, the first two of these things came from uh, Sensei Ian Abernathy, uh, Sensei Ian, thank you very, very much for this. It's uh, great. I love these things. But also, you'll see these things all over in your kata. So, um, these are just a couple that you can do, and again, there are plenty of them. Uh, husband and wife hand means that both your hands are working together at the same time. Okay. So, this is brush block, catch, shoot up. It can also be done with you going to the outside if he's punching here, you're deflecting, pushing down, and running your shooter to the net. Okay. So there's two. If you want to just go strictly from the kata, this is a technique from uh, Master Motobu, uh, Choki Motobu, uh, from a technique in uh, Suchin Kata, the opening technique. So it keeps on through and around here. And notice the two hands working together again, so straight punch. Right here. Okay, so that's the technique there. Continuation, continuation. Okay, then we have um, knife defenses, okay, we're going to do a couple of knife defenses. Uh, uh, we, we do these things a little bit strangely, probably not like anybody else, but uh, we use a uh, short blade. Okay. This makes you think. We're just going to do a couple of these. All right. One is here, and I'm not advocating getting into a wrestling match with someone trying to grab a knife away from them. I don't believe that's a good thing to do. You're not going to see a knife against knife uh, sword fight type deal either, but someone may present the knife. So the first thing to do is to pull your neck off the knife. Then with your thumb and forefinger wide apart, come across and just let your fingers collapse around. Step in front here and join it with the other hand. Now his knife hand is, is pretty much disabled. He can move it any which way, okay, and you're safe. You're inside the arc of the weapon. So nothing's going to happen there. Now if you want to continue from there, you step under, cut. Take the knife away, and you're good to go. Okay. Mm. Uh, this is uh, left hand. I call this a Merlise technique because a lady named Merlise <laughs> did this to me one time. I wasn't sure it was real or if she was funny or if she was mad at me or what, but it made me think. So she had a butcher knife. Okay, so if you can remember from the first of the techniques we just did, first thing to do is take your knife, take, the ne <laughs> take your neck off the knife. Okay, then it's a one, two, three. One, two, three. Once you commit, you can't hesitate. So you take the neck off the knife. Then you may want to run. Okay. 
Okay, that's all we're going to show you uh, for this go around. Uh, again, if you're able to uh, to get up to uh, Severeville, uh, please do. We would love to have you. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can contact Sensei Jan, and uh, she'll give you the straight scoop. So thank you very, very much for watching, and uh, hope to see you at the seminar.